Hello and welcome. My name's Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Sheet Cottage. So today we're gonna to talk about sublimation and our sublimation printer again. And we're gonna tackle color correction with ICC profiles. So you might have heard of color correction maybe in a Facebook group or wanna understand how to fix the colors coming out of your sublimation printer. You do that with ICC profiles. What is an ICC profile? So an ICC profile, it stands for International Color Consortium, and it manages the color from anything from like your camera to your computer, to the monitor on your computer, what you see, to what your printer prints out. Now, when you buy your printer, say I have this Epson EcoTank 4700, it comes with an ICC profile already installed in the printer driver. And that's how this printer handles colors. However, that ICC profile is meant for the Epson ink that comes with the printer. So the inkjet ink to print with an inkjet printer. Now we converted this printer. So I converted this printer from an inkjet to a sublimation printer using Hippo sublimation ink. When I did that, the ICC profile basically changed or should have changed to alter those colors for the new ink as well as the new paper. So traditionally on an inkjet printer, I would use just standard regular copy paper most likely. But with my new sublimation printer that I converted and my Hippo sublimation ink, I'm using a sub sublimation paper. So when I use this paper in this printer with this ink, I get different colors out of that standard color profile than maybe I would if I used the ink that came with the printer with copy paper. ICC profiles are a way to fix that, getting a custom ICC profile for your printer. This ensures that the colors you see on your computer screen come out of your printer consistently. So what you see, you actually get printed as well as pressed to your shirt or other substrate. So if you have a problem with some of your colors and you think that you know what you see on the screen is not what's happening once you press it onto your surface, it is due to the ICC profile most likely. Basically, in summary, sublimation ink can produce colors that inkjet ink cannot. So those color profiles change when you convert a printer like this. So if you've converted an Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer, you might need a color profile. So what I've done is I have ET4700, I have Hippo sublimation ink, I have A sub sublimation paper. The combination of those three make a custom color profile. And I had Hippo make one just for my combination and I'm offering it to you. So we're gonna see how to use it. We're gonna see if it makes a difference, but I am gonna put a link in the description below where you can download that color profile for those three factors. So if you have the ET4700 with Hippo Sublimation Ink installed and you're printing on A sub sublimation paper, this color profile should work for you exactly like it works for me in the demonstration I'm about to give. Now, if you have a different printer, different sublimation ink, or using different sublimation paper, the profile probably will not work for you. So Hippo is working on further color profiles, and I will definitely let you know when those are released and when you can download those. I'll try to maybe do an update video. Um, I might do, I can definitely update on Instagram if you don't follow me there. Drop down to the description below, hit that Instagram button. I can definitely update in my Instagram story, but look for more colorful profiles coming out very soon. But I wanted to get this out because I have tons of questions about people, you know, like their purple is not turning out right or whatever. And I wanted to get this out there so you can start correcting those colors if you have the ET4700 and the Hippo with the ASAP. So what else are you gonna need? So I'm gonna give you the link to download that color profile. You're gonna need to know how to use it and we're gonna cover that. But you're also going to need a program that handles color profiles. So unfortunately, that's gonna mean like Photoshop or a Corel program in order to handle color profiles correctly. 
If you don't have those, those are paid programs. I'll leave a link to both of the websites below. You can definitely check those out. So if you're really serious about sublimation, Photoshop is gonna be a really great investment anyway. It's what I use. You are able to do these color correction profiles. You're able to use your templates more easily. You're able to size your designs. It's definitely a program I recommend. You don't have to have it to have your sublimation printer. You can definitely just use the color profiles that are installed in your computer or I'm going to show you a way to get into the back end and kind of tweak those colors if you want to play around with it. So I'm going to show you two methods if you don't have Photoshop that you can kind of use to tweak the colors coming out of your printer in other like free programs. So I'm going to show you that as part of the video, but know that Photoshop will be the optimal way to do that or Corel. Um, and that way you can download the color profile and get exactly the same results. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print a couple different prints with my Epson EcoTank ET4700. I'm gonna print those. We're gonna look at the colors and compare them before pressing and after pressing. And I am going to press them to a 100% polyester cloth. You can press them to a shirt, press them to just about anything for this comparison. Um, I just wanted the same square for all of my comparisons. So we're like comparing the same thing. So I'm just gonna use those because they are exactly the same. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and print these. We'll take a look at how to get the color profile onto your computer and how to use it to print with your printer. And then we'll take a look at what I print and see if we can tell any difference between the colors before pressing. And then we'll press it and see what happens afterwards. So first you'll want to download your ICC profile. I've already done that and that's in my downloads folder. What you wanna do is right click and click install profile. It's a super simple file. Nothing else will happen. It will only take a second. So just let it run for just a few seconds and then we can close this window out. Again, this window is just where I search for files on my computer. And now we're ready to print using that profile that we just installed. So what we are going to do is head to print settings. Now, once again, I talked about how this can only be done in something like Photoshop or Corel. I am using Photoshop for this. So we'll go to print settings and on my screen, we go to more options. And what you're looking for is something that says color correction. It's probably set to automatic because that is what is within your printer when you installed it. Now we'll go to custom and we can go to advanced and what we wanna click is no color adjustment. Now you can try things like these color controls if you have, don't have a ICC profile for the printer and paper and sublimation ink that you're using, but I, I do have one, so I'm gonna use no color adjustment and click OK. And now everything is the same otherwise as far as my settings. So I have my image mirrored. I am printing on an eight and a half by 14 document this time. And you do always wanna make sure that high speed is not checked. And we want, always want our quality to be high and our paper type to be matte. So everything looks okay here, so we'll say okay. And now we have to tell Photoshop how we want it to handle the colors. So where it says color handling, we're gonna pull that down and we're gonna ask it for Photoshop to manage the colors. So now that we've chosen Photoshop manages colors, we can pull this down and you should see the profile that you s installed. However, if you already had Photoshop open, you may have to close that out and go back to file and print and then let it find it again. So now that I've backed out, you can see that now I have a Hippo Epson ET4700 color profile on my computer and I can pick that. So now when I print this, Photoshop will manage the colors and it will use this printer profile. The rest of the printer settings should have stayed the same. So we can go to more options and make sure that no color adjustment is picked just to make sure that that still happens. Now we can print this on our Epson ET4700 
and we'll take a look at the differences in the color just from printing, and then we'll press each of these and see the differences in the color as well. So here are my three prints after printing. So the top one is just with the Epson color profile, just the printer group profile. The second is with color controls. I didn't mess with it. I just turned color controls on to see what would happen. And the last one is my ICC profile. So between these two, I mean, I didn't do anything with the color controls, so I didn't expect to see a difference. There may be a slight difference in some colors, but most are the same. But if I take this color profile one and put it up next to these, I think you can really see a difference between these yellows. And then let's look over here at the reds. There is a slight difference in the reds. And then in the center, I can definitely see that the oranges are way more defined with my color profile. So let's look at the other lines. All right, so this one's the Epson, this one's the color control, and then I'm gonna lay my ICC pro profile over it. You can definitely see in these reds, I feel like they get more defined. And then in these blues, it's definitely much, much brighter with the ICC profile and some of these blues. So these should be the exact same color when we're talking about this 3115 here. And you can see how much brighter it is with my ICC profile turned on. And then I can also see a ton of difference. Let's compare these two. So this is my ICC profile and this is my Epson. And I can also see a ton of difference in some of these purples. It really gets more defined with my ICC profile. And then let's compare the bottom row. So here we have the Epson, here we have the color controls, and here we have the ICC profile. And the place I can most see the difference here is in these blues. So this 320 is supposed to be the same color, and you can see how much brighter it is, like through here, the 320, 321, 322. It's definitely way more brighter with the ICC profile. And then my yellows here, get more defined. And I feel like these grays, I can tell way more difference between them with the profile turned on. So there definitely is a difference. Now I'm gonna press each one of these and we're gonna come back and see it on the fabric and see if the, the difference continues on the fabric and how much difference there is. Here are the results after pressing and I hope you can see this because it's pretty vibrant in real life. So this top one is the Epson. This one is the color controls, and this one is the ICC profile. So first of all, between the Epson and the color controls, I feel like the color controls is way more muted. Um, I feel like the colors are just super mute with the color control. So I'm gonna throw that one out, and let's look at just the Epson versus the ICC profile. So hopefully you can see that the ICC profile made everything way brighter. It made a huge, big difference between the colors instead of where like these colors are the same. Now they look different. Um, the oranges are way different. The yellows really pop with the profile and the pinks are super pink. And there's hopefully a zoomed in look. So you can see this is the ICC profile. This is the Epson just with the printer profile. And hopefully you can see that the colors of the ICC profile really pop. So I'm just gonna continue to compare these two because I do feel like the color controls one, I feel like it got way muted. So I'm just going to kind of throw that to the side. And let's just compare the Epson to the ICC profile here. So there's the next row or rows of colors. Um, so hopefully you can tell a big difference between these pinks and how much brighter and more vibrant it is with the ICC profile. Um, the purples, 
like this one versus this one. This one just pops way, way more. Um, you can see a difference in here with these purples. Not every color is going to be different between the two, but there are gonna be noticeable differences between the two pieces in some of the colors in some of the areas. And overall, the ICC profile is way brighter, more vibrant, and there's like more color variation. So let's look at this last set of rows here. And there you can see the last set. So I can tell a big difference up in this area. I can really tell a difference with these greens and the yellows, again, much more brighter with the ICC profile. And then these, I can actually tell a difference with the ICC profile, whereas these, it was really hard to tell a difference between all of these grays. So overall, the ICC profile kind of brightens everything up. You can definitely, if you have Photoshop or Corel, try both on some projects, see which ones you like best for your project, see which one prints the best in your opinion, and then use that one. It's not like a hard or fast rule. And then this color controls one, you know, maybe you like it better. Maybe it turns out better on your projects. That's okay as well. I don't see a huge difference in like the colors themselves. I just feel like the color controls muted my colors more than the other two but the colors as far as the Epson versus color controls, I feel like the colors themselves are the same. So that it just feels a little bit more muted. So there you have a comparison between the Epson ICC profile and the custom ICC profile from Hippo. All right, so hopefully you saw a difference in those profiles. Now, you have the ET4700, you have Hippo Sublimation Inc. installed, pick up some ASA paper, Download this profile from the description below. So if you're on computer, you might have to click show more to see all my links. If you're on mobile, you may have to swipe up to see all the links, but the links will be there. And you can download this profile and then give it a try for yourself. Like it doesn't hurt anything at all. If you have Photoshop or Corel, you can just start using it and see if it makes a difference in your projects. See if you like it or not. See if your color, if your projects and your colors are more vibrant. I will definitely be using it on some future projects, so stay tuned for that. See if I like it or not. So I do want you to remember that you don't have to use these ICC profiles at all. If you think the colors look amazing right out of your printer with the printer ICC profile that's already installed, once you download that printer driver, then just run with it. Run with those colors, run with all those sublimation crafts. There's no reason to worry about color correction. If you're not worried about it, the people that you're giving the gifts to aren't worried about it either. This is basically for people that are making these to sell and their customer might be worried about it or they have a really specific vision for a project or a color and they're not able to get that with the standard profile. So I think that's more for who these are for. If you're not worried about it, just don't worry about it. Skip this video. When people talk about ICC profiles on your Facebook group, just keep scrolling and don't worry about it. Um, so I will keep everyone informed as more ICC profiles come out for the Hippo Ink and various printers, whether that be your Epson EcoTanks or other printers, they are working on color profiles for all that. So I will keep everyone informed on that. But for now, if you want to drop down below, use the one that I was able to get and see if your colors are any different. I'm super impressed with the way this turned out and I can't wait to do some more sublimation projects. I always wanna do sublimation projects. So hopefully this helps you. If it did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, feel free to drop down in the comment section and ask away. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this, sublimation and cricket every single week and you don't wanna miss any of those. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.